hi guys welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in so today I'm gonna show you how I make my Zambian meat pies so for my ingredients I have green peppers spring onion potatoes beef and carrots and all-purpose flour so the first thing I'm gonna start with is making my dough because I need it to rest a little bit and inside my flour I added some salt and some butter and next I love adding this spice in my flour just to make it extra tasty I guess so and it's really good guys you can use it for so many things so now I'm going to mix everything together. The best way is to use the hands, but I have no gloves. For now, I'll use cooking stick. Mix it all together first for like five minutes. It has to blend in together. So it should look something like this when you mix it. So next, I'm going to be adding a little bit of water. You don't want to put too much water. Just start with a little bit, then mix it all together. So guys, after mixing everything together, your dough should look like this. The reason why mine looks like that because I added some spices. That's why. It's your choice to add spices, but I love adding some spices in my crust. So it's up to you. It's not a big deal though. Next, I'm going to let my dough set for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to start doing my fillings while waiting for my dough to set a little bit. So first thing, I'll start with my beef because it has to be well cooked. I'm going to cook this for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So next, I added my potatoes. I left out a little bit of water so that my potatoes can get cooked. So I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes. So I'll let it cook and sit back, relax and enjoy. Next, I'm going to add some spices. I'll write down the name of this spice in the description down below. Next, I'm going to add my green peppers and my carrots for color and my green onion, my favorite. So next, I'm just going to mix everything together and I'm going to add some bell peppers to just give it a little bit of heat. Next, I'm going to let everything cook for like 5 minutes and after that, I'll start filling in my, my meat pies. It smells really good. Next guys, as you can see, I divided my dough into 15 pieces because I'm going to make 15 uh, meat pies, 13 pieces of meat pies. Next, I'm going to roll my dough. You have to do it just very slow. You don't have to rush. And turn the other side. Roll it again. So next, I added my filling and the next part, I just have to roll it like that, roll it, as you can see, I'll show you the other part later. I'm using my fork 
to press the door down just press it with your fork this is old fashioned but that's fine uh-huh and the other side the same thing so it should look something like this so guys don't forget to wash your meat pies with an egg it makes it look golden brown it's ready to go hi guys so this is my last product it should look something like this as you can see everything looks uh, perfect and it really smells really good I wish you guys can smell it but you can just watch <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social medias to keep up with me. And don't forget to share, like, and comment down below. Thank you, lovelies, for your time. And I just want to thank everybody for subscribing. Thank you, guys. I see you all. Like, the love is so much. Love you guys and thank you for encouraging me.